Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the foreground color of the different columns in a list box or combo box. Lots of different people have asked me if you could change the colors in a list box or a combo box, and generally you can't. All right, if you make a list box, let's say we make a list box right here with our customers in it. All right, we'll grab a list box from there. We'll drop it down here. All right, I'll pick the values from a table or query. We'll go to customer table. I'll bring in, let's say, customer ID, first name, last name. Next, sort it. Next, and then finish. Okay, now, delete that label. Here's my list box. Okay, it looks okay, but there's really not much you can do to change the format inside of that list box. All right, if you go to design view, you take a look at it. You know, you could change the color of the whole thing, right? You can make it like a light blue background, but you can't really change the text in there. Or can you? You could change the widths in here and you could change a bunch of other stuff, but there's no properties in the list box itself for changing the colors of the different columns. So you have to remember this little trick. Let's delete this guy. All right, close the main menu for now. We'll come back to you. All right. You could put this right inside the table, but I prefer doing it in a query. Because if you change the properties in the table, then everybody based on that table is going to inherit those changes. So let's make a query with our colors in it. All right, and then we'll use this colored query wherever we want to see these colors. So go create, query design. All right, we're going to bring in our customer table. Let me close that guy. Okay, I'll bring in customer ID, first name, last name. Now we're not gonna see customer ID anywhere. So we're just gonna worry about the first name and last name. Now bring up the property sheet over here. If you don't see it, you can just right click anywhere in here and go to properties. There it is. Now each column, each field has a format property. I cover this format property in detail in my full classes, starting with Access Beginner 3. All right, I'll put a link to that down below if you wanna go check it out. You can put all kinds of different format codes in here for how you want the data to display, how many characters, um, you know, for numbers, you can control the decimal places, all that stuff. But for today, I'm just going to teach you how to do the color trick. So in the format property for first name, I want you to put in inside of square brackets, the word red, and then an at sign like that. I'll zoom in so you can see it better. Just like that, red, and then an at sign. All right, hit okay. Now run the query and oh, look at that. First name is now red. Isn't that cute? Let's do last name. Click on last name, go to format, and then put the word blue, and then an at sign. Got to have that at sign. All right, and then run it, and now it's blue. Isn't that cute? One more. Let's add a number field. Now, number fields are tricky because, let's bring family size in. They work a little differently, and the number signs, for some reason, the color won't come over to the list box, but I'll show you a trick in a minute to get around that. So for the format over here, let's put the word magenta. And then a zero. Got to use a zero for numbers. And look at that. And with the full format codes, you can control, you know, negative numbers look a certain way, positive numbers a different way, zeros look a different way. I cover all that in my full courses. Now, let's save this guy as, save that as customer color queue. All right, our customer table with the colors in it. Now, let's go make a list box out of that guy. So go back to the main menu. Right click, design view. Find a list box, drop it on here. Get the values from a table or query. Where are we getting them from? Queries, customer color queue, next. All right, bring over all the fields. Next, next. That's what it's gonna look like. We'll hide that customer ID. Next, and then finish. All right, let's see what we got. Ready, boom, there we go. Look at that. We got a list box with colors. But look, the, the magenta didn't come through because for some reason, the folks at Microsoft didn't, propagate that color for number type fields, which is really weird. So we just have to convert that to a text value in the query. I know it's an extra step. You got to do it. But I wanted to show you why before I did it in the query. And you're like, why did you do that? Okay, so let's delete that again. Let's start over. All right, let's go back to that query. Design view. Now, family size is a number. But we got to change it over to a text string. So how do we do that? We use the convert to string function. All right, so we'll call this, we'll call it fam size now. And it's going to be CSTR, convert to string, and then put family size inside a parenthesis like that. I'll zoom in so you can see it better. 
All right, it's now called fam size. Right, fam? Okay, <laughs> convert to string, family size. That's going to make it into a string value. And then we'll just change the format up here, get rid of the zero, and put a text format in there. All right, now run it. Looks the same, but now it's a text value. All right, so watch this. Close it, save it, back to the main menu. Design view, drop in that list box. All right, here we go. Same thing, query, customer color, next. Bring them all over, next. Uh, sort it if you want to sort it, next. Hide that customer ID field, resize these guys if you want, next. And then finish. All right, get rid of that label. And one, two, three, there's your color. Pretty cool, huh? Now, yes, you can only change the colors. All right, one solid color, that's all you get. You can change the background color using the list box properties. You can't change the individual rows, sorry. You can do that with conditional formatting and a continuous form. I've got another video where I show you how to do that. We'll make a little continuous form, and, con and with conditional formatting, you can change the different rows in there, but you can't do it straight with a combo box or a list box, sorry. But there you go. There's your formatted list box with some color in it. Looks better than nothing, right? Again, if you want to learn more about the format property, I cover it in more detail in my Access Beginner 3 class. I'll put a link to that down below. You can check it out if you want to, and I hope you learned something today. We'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.